Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Grams. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2212 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nuggets, I'm thrilled to continue our journey through the Book of Proverbs, where we will unearth timeless wisdom. Today we are delving into Proverbs chapter 10, verses 17 through 24 from the New Living Translation. So let's lace up our hiking boots as we explore the path of wisdom in these verses. In Proverbs chapter 10, verses 17 through 24, we continue our exploration of the characteristics and the outcomes of living a life of wisdom. These verses provide us with valuable insights into the ways of the wise. Verse 17. People who accept discipline are on the pathway to life, but those who ignore correction will go astray. This verse is a powerful reminder of the importance of accepting discipline and correction in our lives. Those who do so are on the pathway to life, while those who ignore such guidance will inevitably go astray. It emphasizes the role of humility and teachability in our pursuit of wisdom. Verse 18. Hiding hatred makes you a liar. Slandering others makes you a fool. This verse highlights the destructive nature of harboring hatred and slandering others. It equates hiding hatred with deceit and slander with foolishness. It is a stark reminder of the need for love, honesty, and integrity in our interactions with others. Verse 19. Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. These verses caution against excessive talk, which can often lead to sin. It advises sensibility and the wisdom of keeping one's mouth shut when necessary. It's a reminder that speaking less and listening more can prevent many conflicts and misunderstandings. Verse 20. The words of the godly are like sterling silver. The heart of a fool is worthless. This verse draws sharp contrast between the words of the godly, which are likened to sterling silver, precious and valuable, and the heart of the fool, which is described as worthless. It underscores the significance of speaking with wisdom and integrity. Verse 21. The words of the godly encourage many, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. Here we see the impact of our words. The words of the godly encourage and uplift many, while fools, due to their lack of common sense, often bring destruction upon themselves. It emphasizes the profound influence our speech can have on those around us. Verse 22. The blessings of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. This verse underscores the nature of the blessing that comes from the Lord. They make a person rich, not just materially, but also in terms of spiritual and emotional wealth. Importantly, though, these blessings do not bring sorrow or regret with them. Verse 23. Doing wrong is fun for a fool, but living wisely brings pleasure to the sensible. This verse highlights a contrast of temporary pleasure of doing wrong, which may be enticing to fools, and the lasting pleasure that comes from living wisely. Sensible living is characterized by fulfillment and joy. And verse 24. The fears of the wicked will be fulfilled. The hopes of the godly will be granted. These verses remind us of the power of fear and hope in shaping our lives. The fears of the wicked often become reality, while the hopes of the godly are granted. It underscores the importance of cultivating positive and faith-filled expectations. As we reflect on Proverbs chapter 10, verses 17 through 24, we are reminded that wisdom is not merely about knowledge. It's about the choices we make and the impact that they have on our lives and the lives of others. Take a moment to consider these questions. How can I cultivate a heart of discipline and accept correction in your life? In what ways can your words be a source of encouragement and blessing to those around you? Remember, wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. Let's summarize with these key takeaways on Proverbs chapter 10, verses 17 through 24. The first one is accepting discipline. Those who accept discipline and correction are on their pathway to life, while those who ignore it go astray. Second, honesty and integrity. Hiding hatred and slandering others is equated with lying and foolishness, emphasizing the importance of honesty and integrity. Third, sensible speech. Excessive talk leads to sin, so being sensible and choosing when to speak is a wise course of action. Fourth, impact of our words. The words of the godly encourage and uplift, 
while fools often bring destruction upon themselves through their speech. Fifth, blessings of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord makes a person rich and does not bring sorrow with them. Sixth, wisdom and pleasure. Living wisely brings lasting pleasure in contrast to the temporary fun of doing wrong. And seventh, the power of expectations. The fear of the wicked often becomes a reality, while the hopes of the godly are granted, underscoring the importance of cultivating positive expectations. In closing, remember that wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of fulfillment. As we continue on our journey through this vast landscape of wisdom, may we walk with humility, integrity, and sensibility, choosing the path of the wise. And thank you for joining me on this leg of our wisdom trek. I hope that these verses have inspired you to embrace the way of wisdom and make choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. As we continue on our journey, may we navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. And if you found this podcast insightful, subscribe and leave us a review. And then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.